15 Celebrities Who Lost Everything. Welcome to our documentary, where we delve into the captivating yet turbulent lives of celebrities who once had it all. Today, we explore the dramatic rise and fall of 15 stars. From dazzling fame and fortune to startling controversies and challenges that led to their downfalls. Join us as we uncover the behind-the-scenes realities that show fame is not always as glamorous as it appears. Army Hammer Army Hammer, once a prominent name in Hollywood, is best known for his memorable roles in films like The Social Network and Call Me By Your Name. Born into wealth and influence, Army is the great-grandson of Armand Hammer, a well-known oil tycoon and philanthropist. He also made a successful detour to Broadway, starring in Straight White Men in 2018. However, Army's life and career took a dark turn in 2021 when he became engulfed in a series of scandals involving allegations of abuse, cannibalism, fantasies, and drug addiction. Alleged conversations between Army and various women, which contained violent and graphic desires, were exposed by an anonymous Instagram account. Several women accused him of emotional manipulation and assault, sending shockwaves across the entertainment industry. Although Army denied these allegations, he withdrew from future projects and was dropped by his talent agency and publicist. His personal life also suffered. His marriage of 10 years to Elizabeth Chambers ended in 2020 amidst rumors of infidelity. They share two children, Harper and Ford. Battling addiction, Army checked into a rehab facility in Florida in 2021, where he stayed for several months. Upon leaving the facility, he appeared healthier and more at peace as he attempts to overcome his addiction and rebuild his life. Army Hammer's journey is a sobering reminder of the highs and lows one can experience. Stephen Baldwin Stephen Baldwin, the youngest of the Baldwin brothers, carved out his own niche in Hollywood after his siblings Alec, William, and Daniel had already made their marks. Known for his role in the acclaimed crime thriller The Usual Suspects, which won two Academy Awards, Stephen initially enjoyed a flourishing career. However, as the new millennium approached, his trajectory began to wane. Stephen's career gradually shifted towards low-budget films that failed to make a significant impact and eventually transitioned into reality TV shows like Celebrity Mole, Celebrity Apprentice, and I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. These choices did not bolster his career, and along with controversial views on politics and social issues, led to a decline in his public presence. Off-screen, Stephen faced numerous challenges, including financial troubles, legal issues, and battles with bankruptcy and tax evasion. Lawsuits from unhappy creditors and former business partners compounded his difficulties. Despite these setbacks, Stephen credited his recovery and resilience to his newfound Christian faith, which he embraced in 2001. In his personal life, Stephen has been married to Kenya Diodato, a Brazilian graphic designer since 1990, and they have two daughters, Aaliyah and Haley, the latter of whom is famously married to pop star Justin Bieber. Despite the ups and downs, Stephen's journey is a testament to personal transformation and the role of faith and family in overcoming life's challenges. Kanye West, yay. Kanye West, also known by his moniker Ye, is a figure who revolutionized the music industry with his debut in the early 2000s. Originally making a mark as a producer for Rockefeller Records, Kanye worked with big names like Jay-Z, Alicia Keys, and Ludacris. He quickly shifted the spotlight onto himself with a successful solo career, beginning with his critically and commercially acclaimed debut album, The College Dropout in 2004. This album marked the start of a prolific and influential career in music. Kanye founded his own label, Good Music, and became one of the most influential and acclaimed artists of his generation. Known for his willingness to experiment with different musical styles and genres, he wasn't just confined to music. 
Kanye also ventured into the fashion world, launching his own brands, Yeezy and Donda. With 24 Grammy Awards and over 160 million records sold worldwide, his achievements in music and fashion seemed boundless. However, the 2020s brought a significant shift in Kanye's public and personal life. His controversial political views, particularly his support for Donald Trump and erratic behavior on social media, began to tarnish his image. His unsuccessful presidential campaign in 2020 and public battles with mental health issues, including bipolar disorder, added to his struggles. His marriage to Kim Kardashian West ended in divorce in 2022. Professionally, Kanye faced a steep decline in his financial and business fortunes, particularly after making anti-Semitic comments that led to severed ties with major brands like Adidas, Gap, CAA, and Balenciaga. This fallout significantly impacted his once estimated $1.5 billion fortune, reducing it dramatically. Despite these challenges, Kanye's legacy as a groundbreaking artist remains, though his more recent endeavors have not resonated as powerfully as his earlier works. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres is a prominent American comedian and television host known for her charismatic and welcoming personality. She first made a name for herself as a stand-up comedian in the 1980s, breaking through to mainstream recognition after a successful appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. By 1994, Ellen had her own sitcom, Ellen, which became well-known after she publicly came out as a lesbian on the show in 1997, a groundbreaking moment in television history. Despite some backlash, this act was largely hailed as a courageous and pivotal step for LGBTQ plus visibility in media. In 2003, Ellen launched The Ellen DeGeneres Show, which quickly became a daytime television staple. Known for its engaging interviews, hilarious skits, and generous giveaways, the show cemented Ellen's status as a beloved media figure. Beyond her talk show, Ellen hosted major award shows, voiced Dory in Finding Nemo, and received numerous accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016. However, Ellen's career faced significant challenges in 2020 when allegations of a toxic work environment on her show emerged. Accusations of harassment, racism, and misconduct by senior producers led to a major scandal. An investigation by Warner Media resulted in the departure of three top producers, and Ellen had to address the issues publicly, apologizing and claiming ignorance of the specifics, but taking responsibility for what happened under her leadership. Despite denying that the scandal influenced her decision, Ellen announced in 2021 that she would end her talk show after its 19th season, citing the emotional toll the controversy took on her. This marked a significant turn in her career, as she navigated the fallout and the shifting public perception of her once widely praised persona. Ellen's story highlights the complexities of celebrity culture and the impact of behind-the-scenes dynamics on public figures' careers. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson, born Brian Hugh Warner, is a musician and artist known for his provocative and controversial persona in the rock and metal scenes. He burst onto the music landscape in the late 1980s and early 1990s with his band Marilyn Manson and the Spooky Kids, which later shortened its name to Marilyn Manson. The band gained significant attention with the release of their debut album, Portrait of an American Family, and achieved breakout success with their follow-up, Antichrist Superstar, in 1996, a concept album that drew both critical acclaim and public controversy for its provocative themes and imagery. Manson became a figure synonymous with shock rock, blending theatrical flair with disturbing performances that often challenged social norms and provoked cultural debates. His stage name, a juxtaposition of actress Marilyn Monroe and cult leader Charles Manson, symbolizes the bizarre duality of American celebrity culture, mixing beauty and horror 
in a way that became emblematic of his artistic identity. Beyond music, Manson has dabbled in acting, appearing in various films and TV shows, and has also pursued painting and writing, publishing his autobiography, The Long Hard Road Out of Hell. However, his career took a severe downturn amid more recent allegations. In 2021, several women, including actress Evan Rachel Wood, accused Manson of emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. These allegations led to a significant fallout, with his record label, talent agency, and several television projects severing ties with him. Additionally, multiple lawsuits were filed against him, further impacting his public image and career. Manson has denied the allegations, calling them horrible distortions of reality. Nonetheless, the impact on his career and reputation has been profound, illustrating how rapidly public perception can change and the serious consequences that arise from allegations of misconduct in the era of Me Too. His story continues to unfold as legal and social repercussions develop. MC Hammer, MC Hammer, born Stanley Kirk Burrell, is an iconic figure in the music industry, particularly remembered for his rapid rise to fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Hammer's career took off with the release of his third album, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, which featured the smash hit, You Can't Touch This. The song and its accompanying music video, showcasing Hammer's flamboyant dance moves and distinctive Hammer pants, became cultural phenomena. The album was a monumental success, making Hammer one of the first hip-hop artists to achieve diamond status for selling over 10 million copies. At the peak of his fame, Hammer was known not just for his music, but for his showmanship and a sense of style that had a considerable influence on early 90s pop culture. He was also a savvy businessman, investing in a variety of ventures, including a record label, a cartoon series, and even a racehorse. Hammer was known for his generosity, often giving back to his community and supporting his entourage and family extensively. However, Hammer's financial management was less prudent than his entrepreneurial spirit. His lavish spending on a large entourage, luxury mansions, and an extravagant lifestyle led to significant financial troubles. By the mid-90s, his popularity waned as the public and critical reception to his music cooled. Hammer attempted to reinvent himself with a harder-edged style, but this failed to resonate with his established fan base. In 1996, he filed for bankruptcy, reporting over 13 million in debt, a stark indicator of how drastically his fortunes had reversed. Despite these challenges, MC Hammer never faded entirely from public view. He remained active in the entertainment industry and embraced new technologies, including social media, where he has maintained a significant presence. Hammer also transitioned into a tech investor and a preacher, using his experiences to advise younger artists and entrepreneurs on the pitfalls of the industry. His story is often cited as a cautionary tale about the fleeting nature of fame and the importance of financial literacy, especially for celebrities. Michael Jackson Michael Jackson, often referred to as the King of Pop, was one of the most famous and influential entertainers in the history of music. His career achievements and innovation in the music and dance arenas remain unparalleled to this day. Jackson began his musical journey with his siblings in the Jackson Five, where he emerged as a standout performer thanks to his exceptional vocal talent and charisma, even as a young boy. Jackson's solo career skyrocketed with the release of Off the Wall in 1979, followed by Thriller in 1982, which became the best-selling album of all time, a record it still holds. These albums marked a significant transformation in his musical style, featuring a combination of pop, rock, and funk. His music videos, particularly for songs like Billie Jean, Beat It, and the epical Thriller, 
were instrumental in popularizing the music video medium, showcasing his extraordinary dance skills, including the iconic Moonwalk. His success continued through the 1980s and 1990s with albums like Bad, Dangerous, and History, each of which produced a string of hit singles and achieved massive global sales. Beyond music, Jackson was known for his humanitarian efforts, donating millions to charities and supporting numerous causes through his Heal the World Foundation. However, Michael Jackson's life was also marked by considerable controversy. From the late 1990s until his death in 2009, he faced allegations of child sexual abuse. Although he was acquitted on all charges in the 2005 court case, the accusations significantly impacted his reputation and public image. His appearance and behavior also attracted widespread speculation and media scrutiny, overshadowing aspects of his musical legacy. Jackson's financial life was equally turbulent. Despite earning billions over his career, he died nearly $400 million in debt due to lavish spending on his Neverland ranch, legal fees, and declining music sales. His health issues, exacerbated by stress and media pressure, culminated in his tragic death from acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication in June 2009, just as he was preparing for a major comeback with the This Is It concert series. Despite these challenges, Michael Jackson's artistic legacy endures, influencing artists across various genres. His contributions to music, dance, and fashion, along with his record-breaking achievements, have cemented his status as one of the greatest entertainers in history. Britney Spears Britney Spears, often heralded as the Princess of Pop, has had a profound impact on the music industry with her chart-topping hits and groundbreaking presence in the pop culture landscape. She burst onto the scene in 1999 with her debut single, Baby One More Time, which became an instant global hit, defining the late 90s pop music era. The song's catchy hook and the iconic schoolgirl music video cemented her status as a pop sensation. Britney's success continued with albums like Oops, I Did It Again, Britney, and In The Zone, each featuring a string of successful singles, including Toxic, which showcased her evolution from a teen pop star to a more mature artist. Her ability to consistently reinvent her music and image helped maintain her status at the top of the pop music industry through the early 2000s. However, Britney's career faced significant challenges, particularly concerning her personal life. Following her marriage to Kevin Federline and the birth of her two sons, she endured a highly publicized breakdown in 2007, which led to her being placed under a conservatorship in 2008. This legal arrangement, controlled by her father and a team of lawyers, governed her financial and personal decisions for over a decade, raising widespread media and fan concern regarding her well-being and autonomy. The Free Britney movement, spurred by her fans, gained traction as more details about the conservatorship's restrictions on her life became public. In 2021, Britney addressed a court directly, expressing her desire for freedom and detailing the constraints and pursuers she faced under the conservatorship. Her candid testimony led to a significant public outcry and support from celebrities and activists. In November 2021, after years of legal battles and public support, Britney's conservatorship was finally terminated, marking a monumental victory in her life. She has since taken steps to reclaim her personal and professional autonomy, signaling a new chapter focused on recovery and artistic freedom. Britney Spears' journey from a teenage pop idol to a resilient figure fighting for her freedom has been both inspiring and heart-wrenching highlighting the complexities of fame and the importance of personal agency in the entertainment industry. Her legacy as a trailblazer in pop music is firmly established, with her influence visible across multiple generations of artists and fans. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes is a distinguished American actor and producer, best known for his dynamic roles in action films and martial arts expertise. 
Snipes' career soared during the 1990s with a series of prominent roles that showcased his versatility and on-screen charisma. His breakthrough came with films like New Jack City, where he played the ruthless drug lord Nino Brown and White Men Can't Jump, which highlighted his comedic talent alongside Woody Harrelson. Snipes further solidified his status as a leading action star in the Blade trilogy, where he portrayed the titular vampire hunter. The series was not only a box office success, but also a cult favorite, blending vampire lore with martial arts action and helping to pioneer the modern superhero film genre. However, Wesley Snipes' career faced significant challenges due to legal issues. In 2008, he was convicted of failing to file federal income tax returns. The case was highly publicized and centered around Snipes' association with a tax resistance movement that challenged the legality of certain tax policies. He was sentenced to three years in prison, serving from 2010 to 2013, which marked a significant interruption in his acting career. Despite these setbacks, Snipes made a notable comeback in the film industry. After his release, he appeared in The Expendables 3, showcasing his enduring appeal in action cinema. He continued to work in various film and television projects, demonstrating his resilience and ability to rebound from personal and professional lows. Snipes has also been involved in film production, seeking to create opportunities for diverse narratives and characters through his company, Amon Ra Films, and its subsidiary, Black Dot Media. His journey from a celebrated actor to a convicted felon and back to a working artist underscores his complex legacy in Hollywood. Wesley Snipes remains a figure of significant interest and respect in the entertainment world. Appreciated for his contributions to the action genre and his efforts to overcome the obstacles he has faced. Dionne Warwick Dionne Warwick is a legendary American singer whose career spans over five decades, marked by her sophisticated voice and a string of classic hits that have left an indelible mark on the music industry. Warwick's rise to fame was bolstered by her collaborations with songwriters Burt Bacharach and Hal David, who provided her with a steady stream of hits in the 1960s and 1970s, including iconic songs like Walk On By, Say A Little Prayer, and That's What Friends Are For. With her distinctive voice and elegant delivery, Warwick became one of the most charted female vocalists in Billboard history. Her success transcended the boundaries of pop and R&B genres, allowing her to garner an impressive tally of awards, including multiple Grammy Awards. Beyond her musical achievements, Warwick has been an influential figure in entertainment, appearing on television and advocating for numerous humanitarian causes. Warwick also used her platform for activism, serving as a goodwill ambassador for the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. This role highlighted her commitment to using her celebrity for philanthropy, focusing on issues like hunger and AIDS awareness. However, despite her professional success and philanthropic efforts, Warwick faced significant financial difficulties, primarily due to mismanagement and tax issues. In the 1990s, her financial situation became public when she declared bankruptcy, citing mismanagement and debts, including substantial amounts owed to the IRS. This period was challenging for Warwick, as it contrasted sharply with her public persona and her previous success in the music industry. Despite these setbacks, Diane Warwick's career experienced a revival in the 2010s as she continued to perform and record new music. Her resilience in face of adversity and her continued commitment to music and charity work underscore her enduring influence and legacy. Warwick remains a beloved figure in music, admired not only for her artistry but also for her tenacity and dedication to improving the lives of others. Antoine Walker Antoine Walker is a former professional basketball player whose career in the NBA spanned over a decade, highlighted by notable achievements and later overshadowed by personal and financial challenges. Walker was drafted sixth overall by the Boston Celtics in 1996 and quickly made a name for himself with his versatile playing style, 
characterize it by his ability to score, rebound, and assist. He was known for his charisma on the court and his signature shimmy celebration after making big shots. During his career, Walker was a three-time NBA All-Star and won an NBA championship in 2006 with the Miami Heat, contributing significantly to the team's success. His dynamic performances and ability to play multiple positions made him a valuable player and a fan favorite. Despite his success on the court, Walker's financial decisions off the court led to significant difficulties after his retirement. He earned over $108 million during his NBA career, but his extravagant lifestyle, including luxury cars, jewelry, and real estate investments, drained his finances. Walker was known for his generosity, often financially supporting friends and family, which further strained his financial stability. His situation was exacerbated by poor investment choices, particularly in real estate, which were hit hard during the Great Recession. This led to substantial debts and legal issues, including being charged with writing bad checks in Las Vegas. In 2010, Walker filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, declaring over $12 million in liabilities and having to liquidate his assets. Since these challenging times, Antoine Walker has turned his life around by addressing his financial missteps publicly and working to educate others about financial literacy. He has become an advocate for financial responsibility, speaking out about the dangers of financial mismanagement and the importance of financial education, especially for athletes who may not be prepared for sudden wealth. Walker's story is a poignant reminder of the transient nature of sports fame and fortune, and his current work aims to prevent others from making similar mistakes. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, often called Iron Mike, is a former professional boxer who became one of the most iconic and controversial figures in the sport. Known for his ferocious and intimidating boxing style, Tyson quickly rose to fame in the 1980s, becoming the youngest heavyweight champion in history at the age of 20. His aggressive tactics and devastating punching power allowed him to defeat his opponents often within the first few rounds, and he soon became the undisputed heavyweight champion. Tyson's early career was marked by an almost unprecedented dominance in the ring, which was mirrored by his tumultuous life outside of it. His background, characterized by hardship and legal troubles, followed him throughout his life, often overshadowing his achievements in boxing. His life was filled with highs and lows, from earning millions from fights to filing for bankruptcy due to financial mismanagement and extravagant spending. In 1992, Tyson's career hit a significant roadblock when he was convicted of rape and sentenced to six years in prison, of which he served three. This conviction led to a temporary suspension of his boxing license. Despite making a comeback and winning two additional heavyweight titles, his later career never reached the heights of his early years. His most infamous fight was against Evander Holyfield in 1997, where he was disqualified for biting Holyfield's ear, an incident that remains one of the most notorious in sports history. Following his retirement from boxing in 2005, Tyson faced numerous challenges, including drug addiction and financial ruin. He declared bankruptcy in 2003 despite having earned over $300 million during his career. This period was also marked by personal revelations as Tyson opened up about his mental health struggles and the personal losses he endured, including the tragic death of his daughter. In recent years, Tyson has sought to reinvent himself. He has appeared in films, written a best-selling autobiography, and launched a successful podcast. He has also become an advocate for cannabis, founding a cannabis farm and advocating for its therapeutic benefits. Tyson's transformation from a feared fighter to a reflective and multifaceted public figure has been profound, showcasing his resilience and capacity for change. His life story is a testament to the complexities of fame, fortune, and redemption. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan is an American actress, singer, and entrepreneur whose early career in entertainment began as a child model and actress. 
She gained fame with standout roles in popular Disney movies, including The Parent Trap, which showcased her talent at a young age. Lohan quickly became one of the most promising young actresses of her generation, taking on leading roles in teen movies like Freaky Friday and Mean Girls, the latter of which has become a cultural touchstone. In addition to acting, Lohan pursued a music career, releasing albums that enjoyed moderate success. Her songs often charted, complementing her public persona as a versatile entertainer. However, despite her professional successes, Lohan's personal life began to overshadow her career due to a series of highly publicized legal troubles and stints in rehab, which were widely covered by the media. Her struggles with substance abuse and legal issues led to multiple arrests and court appearances, significantly impacting her career. These troubles, combined with critical and commercial film failures, led to a decline in her acting career. Public and media scrutiny intensified, and Lohan became more known for her off-screen antics than her on-screen performances. In an attempt to rebuild her life and career, Lohan moved to Europe, where she opened several nightlife ventures, including beach clubs in Greece. These moves were part of a broader attempt to reinvent herself as a businesswoman and distance herself from her troubled past in the United States. More recently, Lohan has begun to make a comeback in the entertainment industry. She starred in the MTV reality show Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club, which focused on her life and business ventures in Greece and signed a multi-picture deal with Netflix, marking her return to acting. These projects signify a new chapter for Lohan, focusing on stability and professional growth. Fantasia Barino Fantasia Barino, often known simply as Fantasia, is a powerful singer and actress who rose to fame as the winner of the third season of American Idol in 2004. Her victory on the popular singing competition was a significant turning point, showcasing her dynamic vocal abilities and charismatic stage presence. Her debut single, I Believe, shot to the top of the Billboard charts, making her an instant star. Following her American Idol success, Fantasia released several albums that blended R&B, soul, and gospel influences, showcasing her unique voice and artistic versatility. Her career in music has been marked by several Grammy nominations and a win in 2011 for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance for Bittersweet. She's known for heartfelt performances that connect deeply with her audience, often drawing on her own life experiences. Beyond her musical career, Fantasia has also made her mark as an actress. She received critical acclaim for her role as Celie in the Broadway musical The Color Purple, demonstrating her talent extends beyond singing. Her acting ability was praised for its emotional depth and authenticity, bringing new dimensions to her career. However, Fantasia's journey has not been without significant challenges. Her early life was marked by hardships, including dropping out of high school and becoming a mother at a young age, which she discussed openly. Her post-idol years included financial struggles and personal setbacks, including a highly publicized legal battle over child custody and allegations involving a relationship with a married man, which culminated in a distressing suicide attempt in 2010. Despite these personal and professional ups and downs, Fantasia has shown remarkable resilience. She has continued to evolve as an artist, taking on new projects and returning to her gospel roots, while also advocating for education and personal growth. In recent years, she has focused on nurturing her family life, marrying businessman Kendall Taylor, and continuing to inspire fans with her music and life story. Aaron Carter Aaron Carter was an American pop singer who gained fame as a teen idol in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Born into a family immersed in the entertainment industry, Aaron followed in the footsteps of his older brother, Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys, launching his own music career at a very young age. He quickly captured the hearts of young fans around the world with hits like I Want Candy, Aaron's Party, Come Get It, and that's How I Beat Shock, which showcased his charismatic, energetic pop style. 
Aaron's early success was marked by multiple platinum albums, extensive touring, and appearances on popular TV shows, making him a household name among pre-teen and teenage audiences. His youthful, upbeat tracks and danceable beats made him a staple on the pop music scene, and he also made a foray into acting, appearing on shows like Lizzie McGuire and Seventh Heaven. Despite his early fame and success, Aaron Carter's life was fraught with challenges. As he transitioned from a child star to an adult, he struggled with substance abuse, legal issues, and financial troubles. His public image was marred by multiple arrests and erratic behavior, which often overshadowed his attempts to revive his music career. In 2017, Aaron opened up about his bisexuality, which was a significant personal revelation made in the hopes of starting a fresh chapter. However, his struggles continued as he faced numerous personal and professional setbacks, including high-profile romances and breakups that played out in the public eye. His relationships, including those with Hilary Duff and Lindsay Lohan, frequently made headlines, adding to the tumultuous nature of his adult life. Aaron's battles with mental health were also a recurring issue, with the singer often speaking about his difficulties with fame and his upbringing in the spotlight. Despite these challenges, he continued to produce music and perform, attempting to reconnect with his early success. Tragically, Aaron Carter's life came to an untimely end in November 2022, when he was found deceased in his home at the age of 34, with reports citing an accidental drug overdose. His death underscored the often harsh realities of child stardom and the pressures of growing up in the public eye. Aaron Carter's story is a poignant reminder of the complexities of fame and the importance of support for mental and emotional health. Thank you for watching the entire video on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth content. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more intriguing stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.